This is our youngest patient right now, a two-year-old Thai girl. She had a terminal illness and she was cryopreserved in 2015. Our patients are declared legally dead, which is not the same as being biologically dead or dead in any fundamental sense. We figure that um, the only real <clears throat> and meaningful definition of death is what we kind of refer to as information theoretic death. If there is no information left in the cells, then you're probably never going to be able to revive them. Four of these pods for a, a whole body, a person is padded and put into one of these pods for protection, and then they're lowered down into the liquid nitrogen. The biggest problem is we have not demonstrated, except on extremely simple animals, reversibility for larger organisms, larger organs. Um, reversibility has been hard to get to. Most of us think that it won't be much longer than a couple of hundred years at the very most. Hoping that something will happen in the future is, is a wonderful thing, but there's absolutely no scientific evidence that you can free somebody alive and bring them back alive with all their memory. They may be very narrow in their specializations. They know a certain area, they know about certain aspects of biology perhaps, and they don't really understand the, 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 the wider possibilities of technology. They may have no idea about the possibilities of nanotechnology, repair devices in the future. This is a, a rational gamble. It is our intention to stop the dying process so that they have a chance of being returned to healthy, functioning life sometime in the future. It's not just about a way to die. It's just the opposite. It's a way to live.